I just wrote a book. Uh, it's coming out later this year. And I want to ask this question. How critical of God or of religion, maybe Christianity, are you? I want to make some comments to two different groups of people. The first group are those of you who uh, want to distance yourself from God, Christianity, the religious domain, and so you use criticism to do that. Uh, varying reasons why you may not be believers or into God or religion, Christianity, and uh, you know it can be because you had a bad experience. Um, it could be you just think it's you know fairy tales, it's foolish. Um, you just might be someone who's deconstructed, used to be a Christian, and you just don't think it's for you anymore, whatever the reason. I have this line that I like and I use, um, and it's that you're being critical, but you're not being critical enough. What I mean by that is I realized if something a few years ago, and it was that reason, logic, is present absolutely everywhere no matter what position you take no matter what you believe in what you think reason is present there for you to take and use to justify whatever it is you think and believe so you decided to use reason to criticize religion god christianity to distance yourself from it and you think that's good and good enough and let's preface you know reason logic truth is good um but i want to push back and say well are you being critical enough or did you just um criticize and use reason enough to distance yourself and maybe not enough to criticize where you're currently standing. Um, uh, any worldview that opposes God, opposes the religious domain or Christianity. And that might be a serious problem. Now this is a discussion for another day, but Christianity holds the value of critical thought and uh, being self-reflective, and uh, you know, it, it's the it is the process of death and rebirth, death and resurrection. But anyway, so in reflection, like, how do you know that you're just not, you know, being selfish, self-serving? How do you know you're just not being egotistical? How do you know you're just not uh, um, completely ignorant and um, putting yourself in a positive feedback? feedback loop um, instead of you know not stopping with your criticisms but pressing into them and uh, letting them continue to lead and direct you and really find out where you end up if you didn't give up so quickly with being critical second group um, are people who uh, consider this, themselves to be religious believe in God are Christian and uh, I want to ask you the same question. Are you being critical enough? You know, have you held the same thoughts and beliefs about whatever it is you believe for too long? You know, like how much change has there been? How much revitalization has there been in your life, in your belief system? And maybe it's because you just swallow everything whole. You know, it's your belief system is made up of religious dogma mantras and cliches and what you need is to maybe open up and be start getting critical and um, I say that because it's hard to really learn if you're not coming with a critical mind asking hard difficult questions and if you're not doing that as a Christian, if you're not doing that directed toward God, if you're not doing that of the Bible and you're know, the Christian worldview, then you know you may not be growing. You may may not be learning. 
um, you know, God can handle it. It's God the one. It's God who is the one who named his chosen people who produced the Messiah, those who wrestle with God. So if there's no contention happening, if you're not wrestling and in the domain of thought and critical thought, analyzing and criticizing, then maybe you aren't growing and living like God wants you to and expects you to. And so if there's no criticism coming from you of your own thoughts, your own belief systems, uh, of the Bible, of God, of Christianity, then maybe you should consider starting to do a little critiquing. So in my book, um, a lot of it was birthed from critical thought and at trying to figure out what the difficult questions to ask were, are, and um, something happened. I ended up learning things that I wouldn't have otherwise learned and figured out if I didn't figure out how to ask some very, very difficult questions. And I track a lot of that in the book. Um, and so I'm excited to share it with you. It's coming out uh, this October, Paradox Lost. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you, guys.